All right, here is my weekly makeup basket for the week. <laughs> um, if you're new to my channel, I'll, I just go through and show you the makeup and the perfume that I'll be wearing for the entire week. I do this to try and cycle through my products so I use all of them and so I also focus on a couple of them so I can finish them up a little bit quicker. So the first item that I have here, this is the primer. This is my Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is in the Protect version. This has an SPF of 30. This is really nice just to put down for a base, plus you get the sunscreen, because I always forget to add sunscreen. <clears throat> so I put this concealer on after the primer, but before my foundation. It's thick enough where it will stay on underneath the foundation, and it won't slide around when I put foundation on top, but it's also, um, it, it covers up any spots or discoloration that you have on your face but it's just too light to use um, over the top of foundation. So that's it right there. It's the MAC, did I say what it was? It's the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is in NW15. I probably should have got the next shade lighter, or I mean darker, but eh, it, it's workable. So for my foundation, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready in the shade 002 Vanilla. And then on top of that, I just used this concealer. This is the CoverGirl and Olay concealer balm in the shade what is this fair light and I just specifically use this one um, right underneath my eyes and if I need to do any brightening or anything I'll use this like in the center of my forehead or like on my chin a teeny bit but it's mostly just for underneath my eyes then onto my powder I'm still using the Mac studio fix powder this is in NW18 so this powder, this it just has more of a fuller coverage than the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural that I like to wear, but when I want more coverage, obviously I'll use this one. And I don't have any of my MSF Naturals at the moment because I'm trying to go through all of my other powders. Okay, onto my bronzer. I have a little mini sample of the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm going to be using this one. When I use a brush that isn't so dense and I just use a really light hand, this bronzer is perfect. I love it. And then I have the NARS Deep Throat Blush that I'll be using this week. This is any time that I'm confused about what blush to use, if I put this one on, it just it's so complimentary for any eye look, I think. So this is a really gorgeous blush. It's I, I think anybody could probably wear this, so that's the blush right there. It's very pretty. It has um, kind of a slight sheen to it. There's sparkle, like micro sparkle in the pan, but it doesn't translate onto the cheeks. You don't see any like glitter flecks or anything. And for my highlighter, I'm still working with this little teeny sample of the Benefit What's Up. This is all that I have left here, and I have... Um, one more of these, so I'm just trying to get through one of them. I'll put this down for a base, like a cream base for a highlight, um, and I'll also put it underneath my eyebrows a little bit, so hopefully this will be gone this week. It'll probably take two or three more weeks to use, though. For my powder highlights, this is the, what is this? Physician's Formula Mineral Glow Pearls. This one's in Translucent Pearl. And the packaging's quite bulky, but the product inside is gorgeous so that's the highlighter right there and it's a really thin really sheer kind of highlight but it just looks beautiful on the cheeks that's it right here in the center I have it on my um, cheek area today like my under my above my cheekbones <laughs> oh my gosh so I mean it just it just provides a nice subtle glow. For my eyebrow products, I have the Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe. This is just a matte taupey gray shade. So I'll put this down with an angled eyeliner brush and then I'll put just a smidgen of the Anastasia 
Tinted Brow Gel in Granite, because if I use this just on its own and I use a heavy hand with it, then my eyebrows almost look black and it looks really funny. But um, if I just use a light hand with that one, it seems to work out just fine. For my eye bases, I have two of them. This is the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Continuous Almond, so it's just essentially a skin tone shade for me. And I think it just blanks out the lid perfectly. If I want something with a little bit more color, I think this is beautiful for in the crease. This is the MAC Fluid Line. This is in the shade Catch My Eye. Now this is stunning. It's like a taupey... Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a taupey grayish shade, but it's got gold glitter in it. I did a little swatch over here earlier because this is the second time I filmed this. You can kind of see the gold flex in it. It's just really, really pretty on like the outer crease of the eye. And sometimes I'll put this underneath the bottom lash line just on the outside edge and it looks beautiful. So can't wait to work with this this week. Um, for my eyeshadows, I'm... I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep working with my Mac eyeshadows for this week so I have two eye looks that I specifically wanted to film this past week and I didn't get around to it I only filmed one of them so the one eyeshadow that I wanted to work with was stars and rockets so that's it right there it's kind of like a purpley pink shade but it has a blue duochrome let me see if I can get a better swatch for you that swatch has kind of moved a little bit. So there it is on the finger, like really concentrated, and then when it's blended out on my hand, it kind of, you can see the blue duochrome to it a little bit. So it's a really pretty shade and I'm excited to work with it. And then the other eyeshadow that I wanted to do a look with, it is this shade right here. It's um, MAC Cranberry. And so this one's really gorgeous as well, but obviously it's more of a cranberry shade. Uh, it's definitely, it's really pretty. So that's it right there. And I'm excited to do a look, not with both of them together, but like two separate looks with those eyeshadows. I think, I think that's what my plan is for the week. And I also need to depot my, I have like six MAC eyeshadows that are in the little pot still. I need to depot those. I was supposed to do it last week and I didn't, so I need to do that. For my eyeliner, I have my black eyeliner. This is the Revlon Grow Luscious. This is in my Finish 6 by Christmas, so I'm going to use this this week and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a break so I can uh, work with some of my other eyeliners. <clears throat> and then if I don't want black, I'm going to be using the MAC Fluid Line. This one's in Waveline, so this is that really kind of like a purpley blue shade. I have two mascaras here. I'm going to layer them. This one is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara, and this one is the Buxom Lash Mascara. Let me show you the difference between the wands. Um, I'm a really big fan of the Buxom Lash Mascara. So those are the two wands. As you can tell, they're quite different. And this one over here, this is the Buxom one, and then this one right here that's the YSL one so ugh, I've got makeup everywhere alright on to my lip products so I have two lipsticks they're both from MAC the one this is in my finish six by Christmas as well this is the MAC Pro Longwear lipstick in the shade dress it up it's it right there right there it's like a muted Max Snob. That's how I like to think of it. It's it's really gorgeous. I love wearing that one. And then a more toned down version that I will be wearing is the MAC Mineralize Lipstick. These are in a little bit of a different packaging than the regular MAC lipsticks as well. But um, this is in the shade... It's the Mineralize Rich Lipstick. This is in the shade Dreaminess. So this is really pretty. And that one is right there. So you can tell when I want something a little more toned down, I'll wear the MAC Dreaminess. When I want something a little brighter and more intense, I'll wear the other one. And for lip gloss, I have the Revlon Peach Petal Lip Gloss. This has been discontinued, but I honestly haven't touched this. It's just essentially a nude gloss, a peachy nude. I haven't touched this in probably six months, so I need to use it, get a little bit of wear out of it. That's it right there before it goes bad if I don't use it up. So 
And then for my perfumes, I have two of them. I have the Kat Von D Saint perfume. As you can tell, I just have that teeny little bit left. So this should be gone pretty early in the week. And then when I'm finished with that, I'll move on to my Clinique Happy. I think this is a perfect scent for the fall time. So can't wait to use this. But anyway, that's all I have. And I'll see you guys in the next one.